Afternoon, um, Eco Gypsy here. One of the th brilliant things about YouTube and what I really like, enjoy about it is just gives you a little bit of a look into other people's lives and other cultures, other people's, how people are living and all different, different things that you wouldn't normally come across. Now, with every positive there's a negative and there's a hell of a lot of negative stuff on the internet with, with gypsies and, and traveling people in general and I suppose what I'm trying to do is just show a slightly different side to things and show a bit more positive side of things. Now I'm here today on uh, my uncle's site and um, he's, a, he's a man who's been He's been into uh, the traditional side of the traveling life for years. He's been he's been um, horse drawn. He's done a lot of stuff um, for the traveling community, and he's currently been painting wagons for probably the last thirty years. Um, I regard him as probably one of the the the, the better wagon painters around. One of the reasons for that is he's now had the opportunity to paint some of the best wagons around so obviously if you've got the best canvas you're going to do the best work so i'm here today on his site i'm just going to show you a little bit of something that maybe normal day-to-day -day people hadn't never seen um, and it's a bit of an eye opener for even even people who think they know about wagons so i'm going to have a little walk around his workshop and a bit of a chat with him today and you can see for yourself what you think okay so enjoy See, I don't mind. It's fine. I don't. Right, I'm going to show you the workshop now. Introduce you to my uncle, and we'll have a little look around, tell you what he's up to. All right, so have a look at this. Afternoon, John. Afternoon. Bit of lining. A bit of lining, yeah. Now, for the untrained eye, anyone who's watching this, I'll give you the basics and tell you. I'll get John to tell you what sort of wagon this is and age and all the rest of it. This a ledge wagon, John? Yeah. The difference between ledge and redding wagons, because a lot of people think these are redding wagons. A lot of different quality. Just in the quality. Oh, yeah. A lot more history term. So you can see in here there's what are you about halfway through these this one at the minute? Yeah roughly about halfway yeah. And if I just walk around the back there, you get a little bit of an idea of the detail. It's going into this. So roughly, John, how, how long have you been on this one? I mean, I know you don't, you're not, you've done other things as well, so I mean, not full time every day, but this one's been with you, what, six months? Yeah, about six to seven months. Yeah. The longest one I've done is uh, three year, for three year, but, but in my eyes, that was the best wagon ever made. And we're going to have a we're going to look at that in a bit, aren't we? Because yeah. we've got a picture. Um, I think we've got a picture of that with the Queen Mother in it. That's it. So, I, that's sadly I ain't here to take pictures of today, but that's yeah. one hell of a thing. So, for anyone who don't know anything about wagon painting, this is a what you call lining or fine lining. And a lot of the stuff you'll see 
where they're doing just picks out the detail and stuff. So you got, yeah. So you got a little. Everything for life there. A lot of people, a lot of people like less and they like more, but there's no one when to stop. I suppose you have to deal with the customers and tell people and family members when when enough's enough, then, don't you? Yeah. Unfortunately, enough. Uh, most of my customers are friends, and they basically leave it to me to do. They trust what I do. And obviously this one's a green, in, in, in a green colour. Yeah. They're generally greens. Reds. Reds. You know, so, well, normally them two colours, really. Reds yeah. and greens. Yeah. And then uh, a lot of people have the gold leaf on what this has got on. Yeah. It depends on how much, how loud they want to go. Yeah. This one, I noticed earlier, we've got the unders here, yeah. what you call the unders. So there's quite a bit to do on them. You see that's all been sanded down and undercoated. But it's got these fists on the corners. And I've yeah, seen, I've seen them. Apparently the history of this, that was made for a boxer. And um, I think that's 1922. We've done the full history of it, yeah. Um, but we do know it was, uh, it was made for a boxer. Hence the hands on there. Normally they're fiddle ends. Yeah. Well, this is a bit unusual to have the wagons. Sometimes you get the horses' heads on each, you know, where the fiddle ends are normally. Let's just see if I can get a shot of that. Yeah, they're quite unusual, aren't they? Yeah. So, I mean, even back in the day, to have this made to your own specifications, <laughs> you'd be talking... That was a lot of money in the, in the day, you know? Yeah. That was different people with different, they, they turned around, like I say, a lot of them used to just have them painted colours, do you know what I mean? Because they couldn't afford the gold, but then you had the ones what could afford it, and that was about the status, really. And then say, well, you know, I can have more gold on and put in what you got. Inter you've got to do the interior of this one, so there's not a lot inside here, but no. traditionally you'd have a double bed. Double bed, yeah. And then maybe sleeping up to six, eight in here sometimes. More than that, plus if I said, you know, normally you'd have the trouble underneath, cut the trouble underneath. So they'd put tarps, like tarps down the side, wouldn't they? Yeah. Tarps down the side, and normally the boys and that would sleep underneath the wagon. Yeah. I think my granddad has mentioned that a few times, that it's the only time he wished he was uh, a little girl, <laughs> as in the middle of the winter when they were all in the wagon and he was underneath with the dogs and chickens. That's it. Yeah. We did travel for about 11 years off door. And I must admit, I think that's the best time of my life. Best 11 years I've ever had. Unfortunately, I had to settle down. Uh, you see yourself down a bit more on the road? Yeah, in the next few years, hopefully in the next five years. I'd like to do another four or five years at least. Mm on the road. Not all the year round like we used to, but more like all through the best of the summer months. Five or six months. Do that, I'd love to do it back then. Yeah. You're gonna need you'd need a good old horse to pull this, wouldn't you? <laughs> you'd really need to in the trailer up the side. So what you'd bad to go on the road but it went down country, you know that's different kettle of fish. What are you talking weight wise on there, John? I see you talking about just just over a ton on this one, I think. Right. And that's they're traditionally ash, aren't they? Yeah, ash and the hubs are all the wheels, the spokes and everything are ash. It's mostly the pine ash at the side, ash to the struts. There's a hell of a lot of work just in that wheel, I think. If you if you have a look you can see the Shitty old camera work of mine. I think there's a couple of weeks' work just in that. I'll show you underneath. Are 
You're just starting on the unders, John. Yeah. So this stuff underneath here, I mean, unless you're under here like I am now, you're well, not, when I first started, that's it. I used to do the golden line and everything myself, but now they wipe my door, do all the golden yeah. and some of the line work. I do most of the scroll work and the line work and, you know, the scroll work. Yeah. But I think and they sort the rest out. I was just saying outside, I've done a little bit outside before we come in here. One of the things I've noticed with you over the years is obviously the quality of your work's got better because the quality of the wagons you've been getting has been a lot yeah. better. And I said, obviously every artist is gonna have the better the canvas, the better the work. Yeah. Um, there was one wagon in particular. Um, I'm gonna try and do some still shots of it now. Have I, um, you got any on the board there? Yeah, this one here. Yeah. Now that one there was the one that took three years and um, I don't know if we've got some more pictures of it somewhere. I've got a picture where it was there. Yeah, let's get a close up of that. That's when it first came to me. I don't know if you can see the detail in there. And that was one hell of a wagon yeah. and probably the best one I've ever seen. Um, and I, I think I can honestly say there's a lot of good painters around, but I, I suppose as a family we can say yes, uh, we're painting probably one of the best wagons in the country. I think I'd agree with that, and the, I think I've pretty well qualified. I've seen quite a lot of wagons, and the work that was in that one was phenomenal, and that's a real eye owner. I'm going to show you a picture in a, just one second. Um, let's turn that off. Now that there, I don't know if you can see, I'll try and zoom in. That's the Queen Mother coming out of that same wagon. Um, 1957 the picture is. Um, that's Providence and a half I think. And, I, and when John finished the wagon he took it up to Sandringham um, on the estate there to have pictures taken and have it shown up there. So, yeah, not many people have done one what the Queen's been in, have they? No. So that's that one. No. On the back of these, sometimes they have like a hay racks and that on them. Yeah. yeah, no, nothing on this one? No, I've got that. They've been finished, yeah. Right. And then that's the pan box on the back, what's over there. Yeah. And it's got to go on, yeah. And uh, obviously he's never used that the chicken boxes on these did. Some of them, some of the reds did, some of the legs and Tom did. Yeah. But the bowl top must be had the the chicken box on the side. We just finished the Tom wagon for a friend of mine. Very good wagon. So there's a hell of a lot really to go on this, isn't there? Oh yeah. I may need to oh. do maybe need to do an update when it's finished just yeah. to show people exactly what it looked like when it's yeah. finished because there's probably well all the unders to do boxes to do That's yeah there's a little baker's cart in there as well I'm yeah i'm now gonna oh what i'm just gonna do if i just um click this off i'll show you. this is something a little bit different john not your usual type of thing no no i did do it for one of my grandchildren but so that's like a Victorian little yeah. baker's thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. baker's cut. Yeah, that's nice as well. And you've done all the lettering and the scroll work on here yeah, as well. And everything on it, yeah. That's nice and plain, nice and plain and simple. Got a nice little butcher's bike here as well. That's one, just show me how that brake worked, John, because ne I've seen loads of these, but I've never yeah, seen one of these. On the there. Yeah, never seen that before. The front there. Yeah. I still like the push out, but I still be all lettered up and done. No, so I've never seen one with that back brake on like that. Yeah. So that's something a little bit different, maybe you wouldn't see all the while. That's it. 
So what I think we'll probably do is we'll do a an update of that wagon when it's all completely finished. We're just going to have a little show inside here because there's probably a really nice reference point in here. You just had this all out, didn't you, John? Yeah, I just took all the inside out of it. But that's now gone to a mate of mine to have all the woodwork done, what need repair and that. But I'd like to put back all the ritual stuff. So explain to me, on the inside here, they traditionally... Well, on the inside, this window, this side here, that'd be a set of little bowl front drawers, what we've got, the original drawers. That's the corner cupboard was still in there, up this side here. Yeah. And then you obviously got the fireplace there, what's the original. I've got the original stove to go into it. And like I said, we took the, all the bed end out. So there's a bed that run underneath that window, isn't there, normally, traditionally? Right yeah, two covers yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. And then you've got the bed end, what slides out. Yeah. But like I said, that's all been took away, but it's all original. But we're now, because uh, like I said, I don't like to put nothing back in the wagon, what in the original, do you know what I mean? If we can repair it, we will repair it. So that would have a wood grain effect on that? Yeah, on there. Would, would have grain, and then that'd be gold leafed and yeah. decorated all inside. So that'd be good if we do, it's nice to actually see that as it is now, because yeah. that looked one hell of a thing when that's all done. And the little, they normally have a little traditional cooking stove in there, yeah. nickel plated yeah, we'll, stove. Yeah, we've got one the end, Yeah. That'd be a little 34 round in there. Yeah. Yeah, I should think there's a few weeks working in the ins inside there, isn't there? One or two. Yeah. Yeah, one or two. There's a show you on the hair a few weeks ago, just, like, so we just finished that part. Yeah. And that's a sexual little wagon. Real nice thing. I think this is the least amount of stuff I've seen you in here with. Well, to be honest with you, I'm trying to quamp down, trying to get down three days a week. <laughs> Slow down a bit. You've been saying that since the last 20 years. <laughs> no, I will do. Because everybody think what everybody think want everything done now and then. Yeah, I mean stuff like this, you're not going to get that done in in an, in a week or two, are you? So I said I've been up here a few times and seen you all of you on there and for weeks and weeks and weeks just to part, you know, paint us one section. So. That's it. Well, there's a lot of them. Sometimes people don't realise what goes into them. Yeah, there's a lot of gold on there. Yeah. I wish you could see another one. The amount of gold, there's a lot of gold on here, but it's nothing compared to the one. Yeah. <laughs> so I think sometimes I, I, my taste is a bit more, less is more, you know? Yeah. And, um, yeah. Sometimes it is, sometimes it is. Sometimes you get like, so you, I think the biggest thing with this, whatever way you paint, is about where you start. Yeah. Sometimes you go over the top, and I think we'll make the mistake over the years. If I put too much in, then they can kill it. I think I, with tattoo, and I've done the same. You know, sometimes less is more. Um, you did have that little black cart up here. I like that because that was quite plain and simple yeah. as well. So, nice. but yeah, we'll come back and do like an update yeah. when that's when that's nearly done, and then yeah, you see. See Hopefully where it's going to go. Christmas. I'm just going to say we're not even into September yeah. yet, so it'll give you an idea of time scale. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm hope. Well, the thing yeah. is, I'll go back to it tomorrow morning. I yeah. The thing is, though, that's what we keep saying is, if you are trying to do videos that it's no good putting stuff on that on there or everyone's seen do yeah. you know what i mean and when and there's a lot of negative stuff on that internet and there's a lot of people oh. who are sort of saying things and you say if you put something like this a bit more positive yeah and you look at this and look at that and you go well, around these places i think the thing is it's always like i said there's a lot of good papers out there yeah you know what i mean a lot of good papers and i don't class myself no better than anybody else you know what i mean i do what i do they do what they do and I certainly wouldn't slack them off. No. You know what I mean? No, because it is some very good papers out there. But unfortunately, it's getting less and less of us. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you do a lot more, not a lot more of these for the gorges than you do for the travellers, don't yeah. you? So, yeah, painting them up just to stick them in the garden. Yeah. Well, that one there, we've done for a judge. This one there. Yeah. He's a judge, he is. 
That's got a sort of French look about it, that, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not a bit you look like the fiddle there, there's a little parrot head. Right. See him? Oh, oh yeah. Parrot head. Yeah, let's see if I it's can. It's unusual. Now. Yeah, like I say, I suppose you'd have individual. I never did meet the man until the day I took it back. Really? No. I was down at Suffolk, at the mates, and he turned around and he asked me to paint for him. And I went over there and painted, told him the part, what I was going to do. Yeah. He said, yeah, get on with it. And I didn't meet him until I delivered it back to him. And I we delivered the boat, 60 mile over side of Stonehenge, I took that back. Yeah. So I suppose if I was going to have one, I'd have chainsaws on the ends. <laughs> yeah. Get little chainsaws carved on the, onto the end. Little tattoo guns. Little tattoo machines, yeah, that'd do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another picture of Simon Hillis. He's only 16 there, but when he's travelling. Come on there. He's only 16 years old. Leroy, though, 27. He's about 6 there. You got hair there, John? I've got hair there, yeah. I see, that's what happens when you settle down, come off the roof, like, you lose your hair. <laughs> <laughs> There's my mum and dad. Well, that's me there, look, well, I'm 28. <laughs> look at that tash. Look at that tash. <laughs> Who's these people? They are oh, lovely people. They love the wagons, always in wagons. Oh, Les Elliot. Unfortunately, the old, old boy, he passed away about a couple of years ago. But they were in wagons up until, all, up and well, up right through, yeah, yeah? Yeah, all the way through. I, yeah. I painted a few wagons for him. And if that picture was in black and white, you'd think that was a yeah. 1700s, 1800s yeah. or something, you know? Yeah. But they were, I've met them a few times. Yeah, they're lovely people. And, uh, well, they were. The yeah. old man was a lovely old boy. He yeah. knew we always over here he was. Not many of them people left. No, no, they're a dying breed. Right, well thanks for your time John. Get more, guess get all of us in there for one, for a shot. There you go. There you go. That's one for Gypsy Monthly, isn't it? That's it. <laughs> <laughs>